Good day, everybody, and welcome back to another mukbang with the Ruffies. It's just me today. I was in the mood for some baked peaches. You can find this recipe on my cooking channel, Rise Wine and Dine. I'll drop this recipe with the link in the description box below this video. And also, I had this um, dairy-free coconut milk. I guess you'd call it ice cream, but it's just dairy-free. It's a new product from PC, President's Choice. I thought I would do some ice cream and some peaches, baked peaches with you guys today in a mukbang. So I'm really, really excited. Look at that. Yeah, it's dairy-free, written right on top. See it there? So yeah, I just took the peaches out of the oven. They are still piping hot. I had to use my oven mitts because the dish is still so hot. I didn't even want to plate it up. I just thought I'll leave it into my uh, baking dish and we'll just eat right out of that. So I have my bowl. There is a fine line with sitting at this coffee table. I find that if I'm up on my knees, I'm too high, my head is kind of cropped off. If I get on my butt, I'm like so low to the ground, I'm looking up over the table. So it's kind of like a really fine line here. But anyway, we're gonna try and make do. Oh, this is hard as a rock. Wow. And the lighting, we're trying to figure out the lighting with you guys too. So we'll see how that goes. Oh wow, this video is not sponsored you guys. I always make sure I add that in if the video is not sponsored and this video again today is not sponsored. These are just some of the products that we enjoy eating. And when we enjoy a certain product, we wanna share it with you guys in case you've never ever found that product and you wanna go out and try it. So it's dairy free coconut milk coconut made with fresh coconut milk but it was in the ice cream section and it is vegetarian for ingredients coconut milk sugar water tapioca oh I can't pronounce it tastes good to me it's vegetarian and I thought I would give it a try so so creamy. I guess we could call this video another review. Wow. If you guys could just taste the creaminess. Like. In my opinion. I find this is extra creamy. Wow. Wow. So good. See, I'm low on my butt again, and I feel like I gotta reach in over, but anyway, it's all good. So, I put my baked peaches in the oven. Well, they weren't baked in the beginning. I put my peaches in the oven. I washed them. Do you guys see the steam? Can you see that steam? Look, you know you can see that steam, right? They are piping hot. I put the peaches into the oven about half an hour ago. Mmm. Oh, you guys. I put, well, first of all, I washed them, sliced them in half and quarters. Mmm, my gosh. So I put a little bit of butter on top of them. In the centers. And on top of the butter, just sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon. That's all I did. The rest, if you want the exact method on how to do it, etc., the recipe is on Rise Wine and Dine. And again, I'll drop that recipe for you guys in the description below this video. Mmm. Mm, so good.
going to have to make this for Daryl later on. Later on. Mm -hmm. Hot. I love baking my fruit with some, you know, a little bit of cinnamon on top. Strawberries baked are really, really good. It's almost like a, kind of like a peach cobbler without all the dough. Hot. Those peaches are so good. Can you guys see them? See them? That's what I have left. I have a half a dish gone already. I only used, used three. So, how have you guys been? We hope you have been well. Very well. We've been very well. I feel so much more relaxed with recording at home with you guys. In the last place we were just at, as some of you may know, we had this neighbor above us and they made quite a bit of racket, like a lot of noise when they were walking. And it was just so frustrating trying to record with you guys all the time in that environment. Now we're living where there's nobody above us. So that is a big pro to where we're living. You guys, this ice cream is so good. I call it ice cream, but I don't know if I should call it ice cream because um, it's dairy free. Mmm. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's really not an ice cream. And I don't like to label the video as like ice cream if this is not ice cream. This is called a frozen dessert. So that's what I will label this video. A frozen dessert. Because you're going to see it up close in the thumbnail anyway. It looks like ice cream. But really, it's just a frozen dessert, which in my opinion still tastes a little bit like ice cream anyway. But, yeah. So if you go to look for this in Superstore, Loblaws, Save Easy, Dominion, um, possibly No Frills, um, it's in the ice cream section, but when you come across this container, it says on their frozen dessert just so you know and it's vegetarian yeah so we missed you guys like so much our move went really really well We, like we said in yesterday's mukbang. Oh, you guys see that peach squirt? It's just squirt. <laughs> yeah, so we got a lot of exercise in four days. When we went to bed in the evenings, our legs and our muscles and our bodies were so tired. But it is okay. It's so good. I just love ice cream, you guys. Mm. Wow. So, this dairy-free coconut milk 
Frozen Dessert is a product of Thailand. Can you see it right there? Yeah. A product of Thailand. Cool. Mm. Nothing like a fresh baked peach. Or strawberry. A little bit of butter, some cinnamon. Mm. If you guys haven't tried it, I think you should. It's so creamy, this texture. I wish you guys could really see that. It's so creamy. Mm. Yeah, so we have some new changes that are coming to the Ralphie's channel. Some of you guys may be happy while others may be upset. Some of you will support us. Some of you may not support us. And technically, the best I can say on behalf of Daryl and myself is if you support us, that's great. And we're so thankful for you guys. But to the ones that don't support us, we are so sorry for any inconveniences this may cause. But we have to do what works for us, right? So please keep that in mind. Mm. You guys, this is so, so good. Peaches and, it's almost like peaches and cream, right? If you like coconut milk, and you like a frozen dessert and creamy, you would love this. Man, so good. It was like, I know I said it already, but I feel like it's the creamiest ice cream I've ever eaten. And I've eaten some really, really good creamy ice creams. But this just has such a, such a creamy texture. It just, it's just like silk in your mouth. That's the best way to describe it, I think. So yeah, the changes that are happening on the Ralphie's. We are very excited. Whew. And we hope you guys will be excited as well. Um, I think in under this video, I'm just going to drop a comment and pin it to the top of the comments for you guys. If you are into more ASMR videos by... All I want you to type really is just ASMR. And if you're more into mukbang videos, just type mukbang. But if you like both, could you please put down ASMR and mukbang for us? We want to go down through the comments and see um, what everybody likes. What, what do the majority of our viewers and subscribers enjoy watching? Is it both? Is it just mukbang? Is it just ASMR? And technically, we won't know if we don't hear from you, right? So you have to let us know. Please. We love responding to your comments. Totally. And as quick as we can get back to you guys, we always try to get back to you guys now since our lives are getting a little bit more in order and yes seriously if you guys had to know half the stuff we've been through Daryl and I I have never been through so much in a relationship in my entire life as what I have been in this relationship with my husband but again it has nothing to do with Daryl and I it has all to do with 
living conditions and oh my gosh places we have been people we have dealt with like we have really got hurt by lots of different people but really you know what you still have to wake up every day and be grateful that you're given another day you have to be grateful that uh you don't let those past those things in your past drag you down you know what i'm saying because if we had to sit back and let stuff in our past drag us down we'd be locked up somewhere for real you can't look at life like that mm -mm. you still have to smile and rise above stuff I really feel like Daryl probably doesn't want to um, go public with too much about the things we have been through because Daryl looks at it like you know Nadine should we really put that out there do we have to put that out there I think that's how Daryl really really feels but me I'd put it out there because I'm not ashamed I'm not upset about the things that we've went through and the ordeals that we have been through. Um, and again, nothing to do with our relationship at all, really. We um, survived and encountered and been through so much together that I look at it now like I have put so much time and energy into this relationship with my husband and the things we've been through outside of our home that it's like, why would I, why would I leave now? We've fought so many battles together like on the same team and until marriages truly get that like your marriage won't I don't know how to explain it when you realize as a husband and wife or partner and partner when you're with the one you love and you fight battles on this you're on the same team you and your partner you and your spouse and you both get that you really get that that's when um, in my opinion your marriage becomes more successful Mm -hmm. for real we know of some marriages that uh, the husband and wife or the partners that we know um, they have lot they have lots of fights and they argue all the time because they don't both see themselves as on the same team they look at it as the husband is trying to outdo the wife. The wife is trying to outdo the husband. And that stuff just blows my mind. I'm like, man, if you truly love your partner, you're both on the same team. When your husband or your wife or your partner is hurting, you're really supposed to hurt with them. Like if you truly love them. That's just some thoughts of mine today. Sorry. It's the reality of how I feel. And I have been in relationships prior, obviously, like lots of people, that I really did not see myself as myself and that person was on the same team. I was in on like an unhappy relationship and therefore I just didn't see myself as I was on a team with somebody. Daryl and I were on the same team. And if Daryl was sitting here, I know he would be like, yep, it's true. We are on the same team. But again, until you recognize that yourself and your par partner recognizes the same thing as you and you both talk about it, like, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you. And you both get it and understand it, then your marriage will become better. It'll just grow and become better. It's just so evident. It's just clear as well. I think that's why in our past, mine and Daryl's past together, some people um, really hate, they actually hate to see another couple or whatever, somebody being in love or happy. Some people really don't like that, right? Because, only because, they don't have it themselves. And if they don't have it themselves, they look at it like it's form number one. And number two... Why should you have it if I don't have it? And I'm looking at it thinking, I'm grateful and so happy that I'm in a happy relationship. 
again, I used to be upset and not happy in prior relationships all because, all due to the fact that I was not seeing myself as I'm on the same team as my partner. I guess it comes with two growing up. I don't know where this conversation or where this topic came from, sorry. Just some thoughts that were going through my head. These are kind of conversations I think that Daryl and I should be having together with you guys. Not just me, because it almost sounds like a very biased opinion and it's all how I feel and you guys probably really don't know how Daryl feels. But when we're alone in the privacy of our own home, th these are the conversations that Daryl and I do have. Mm -hmm. But if you've been with us for a long time, you have heard in prior mukbangs that Daryl does feel and talk the same way really as I, as I do. Probably not as in much detail because women are very detailed and some men are not so detailed. Um, my husband pays attention to some, I think he pays attention to the details that he wants to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Daryl with all my heart, you guys. You know that anyway. Mm. So good. And we've got to talk in to um, a couple other YouTubers. <laughs> that have a lot more views and subscribers than us, clearly. And some of their advice for us was like, you know, you have to let your um, haters leave the comments on your videos. And that's how your channel is gonna grow. For the past year of doing mukbangs, we have been holding back on you haters and we're so sorry. I know it's such a weird, ironic topic, but we've been holding back. We have been, we've been deleting some of our hate comments. We haven't been getting a lot and that does not mean we're perfect at all. We just thought, well... Who wants to have hate comments on their videos? But anyway, so that's what we've been doing wrong for the past year, apparently. So we're going to start leaving and approving the hate comments and letting them come on our videos. And if you guys, as in haters, think that the hate is going to bring us down, you have something else coming to you. Because I will say this beyond the shadow of a doubt. For myself, I'll speak for myself. I have been through so much my entire life from childhood way up right up to like now till present I'll say that hate comments sincerely and truly do not bother me whatsoever. So if you want to hate and if you want to leave hateful comments you go right ahead. If you want to leave hate hateful comments leave them on a whole bunch of our videos. As it does not bother us. Just so you know. But this is exactly how YouTubers become successful. Seriously, it's all about the hate comments. And I just cannot wrap my head around it. That this is why the past year, our channel did not go boom. Because you have to get to learn the algorithm of YouTube. And once you do, you won't mind the hate comments on your channel. That's not, that's the best I'll say. That's in my opinion. One peach left you guys. See that cinnamon? That's not burn, that's cinnamon. 
Mm. So tender. They're perfect. It's good um, dessert, in my opinion, after like a nice meal. It's kind of like a healthier dessert, in my opinion. As opposed to cheesecake, cakes, cookies, sweets, peaches, baked. Yes, please. So also drop us a line. Let us know what you feel about the setup, um, the lighting. I feel like all the light is coming in and it's hitting me right here. And right here I look really dark. So I don't know, like, we're going to have to try and figure out the lighting more. See if I turn, like you can see all my face. But if I go like this to the camera, this side is darker. I don't know. We're gonna have to try and figure it out a little bit better, I guess. Just let us know what your thoughts are on this setup. Are we close enough to the camera? Do you want us closer? Let us know. Because if you don't tell us, we don't know how you feel. So again, we depend on your comments and your thoughts. This is so good. I'm halfway done. Wow, it's so good. Look at this, you guys. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. That's all I have left. A little tiny bit of juice in there. Not juice, but I guess liquor. Mm. So good. Yummy. Mm. Mm. So it's a wrap, you guys. Totally done here. I didn't think I was going to finish the whole tub, but I did. So I guess this wraps up another mukbang today with the Ralphies. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did today, if you enjoyed the peaches and the vegetarian ice cream, I guess we'll call it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, we'll catch you guys back here at the Ralphies. Take care. Have a great day. Peace. I'm out of here. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy.